Hey guys and girls, so today we're going to be talking about some issues and bugs related to the industrial stuff, some suggestions I have for the developers, and uh, hopefully you guys can help submit some uh, suggestions as well towards the developers. I'll leave a link in the comments. And uh, anyways, yeah, so the industrial update, of course, came with Beyond, and I love anything industrial. You guys know I, I play, you know, modded Minecraft with all the industrial stuff and I've played, you know, Factorio and Satisfactory and you get the idea. I like that kind of stuff. Well, No Man's Skies has kind of dropped the ball on this quite a bit and uh, I'm going to talk about that and it might be a short video, might be a long video, I'm not sure, but you guys can tell me what you think. So, first of all, when scanning them, please note I have a clear UI scanner, just a mod that I have on PC right now. Um, when you scan them, you basically activate with the survey mode you can see at the bottom. So if you're on console, it'll probably tell you which button to hit on PC. It's Q. And then basically, if you look right to left, you can find your stuff. Kind of annoying, but it works out. And the only problem is it's sometimes hard to find other ones to survey, and you kind of have to travel quite far. In fact, I am so far from my base right now. If we get out of this mode right now, um, where's my base right now? There's my base. Uh, 734 use. So I don't actually have a problem with that. If it's far away, no big deal. But this is the problem. Notice why there's that there, there's that there, there's that there, and it keeps going. You're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing, Kane? Were you drunk? No, what I was doing was I was extending my base's property all the way here. And you're probably thinking, wait, what? And yeah, I have to extend my base. It goes up the mountain there, so it goes around. Uh, a bit somewhere but basically you have to extend your base all the way from over here so every so often you have to drop like a wall down or a piece of pipe connection or something because if you do not drop it down like that what happens is you can't build in the area so you can see them there see more wall pieces go all the way up there you can they just go all the way to the base so you're probably wondering what am I talking about so for people who might not realize if you do a base building all you get is portable devices out here you do not have the ability to build your base stuff here till you get closer and then you're gonna notice all of a sudden this is gonna change so if we get over here it should change we might have to go back there you go now it changes right but if you go over here notice how I have all those awesome options but the second we go over here a little too far, we lose them. And then you have to basically, there you go. I don't know when I lost them. I might have been running just without paying attention. But anyways, you lose your uh, ability to place the build objects or base objects. Well, these are all base objects. They're not portable objects at all, which is the number one mistake I think the devs made. So I want them to make them portable objects or let you place them outside your base so you can hook up to them and do anything you want. The second issue is if let's say they didn't bother doing that and they let you use multiple base computers, which you could. I could have had none of this here originally and placed a base computer here. What happens is if you connect this grid to another base grid, the power lines, for example, will turn red. They will not let you connect even though you own it they see it as a different base and I guess they see it as you're trying to seal from another player so they disable it and you're not allowed to do that I guess connect to the grid and you know steal things is not a good thing so oddly enough they added security in there to prevent that from happening so that's a good thing okay so going on to my first major bug so ignore everything it's messy because I've done this like dozens of times playing around with this over time so this is a mineral extractor so we came up here and went into survey mode and we analyze this, and this one's just a class C. I've actually got a class S as well. I uh, haven't done anything with it because of the same bug. Well, I did, but then just gave up. So, okay, so you can see potential C, density 100. And so basically that sounds pretty cool. So we're going to open this up, and you're going to see something. It's going to say, okay, here's your yield, 100 kilograms uh, meter squared. Time left in cycle, it says 000. zero, zero. Well, that's a bit weird, even though it's running. But then you see a pipeline network error. Pipeline status capacity reached. And you're thinking, well, Kane, your capacity is reached. Of course, like you're, you're at fault. You've, you've done something wrong. Actually, I'm not at fault here. Uh, this is the pipeline it's talking about, which I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have another five. This actually connects. If you look here, it connects all the way to the base as well. 
And basically, if you check this out, it actually shows that it has storage in it. has 35 hours worth of storage still in there. From my understanding, these run on a, an hourly cycle, or supposedly, right? So the total storage I actually have in this system is like 48 hours. But for some reason, without any supply depots at all, I still get this issue with this machine. And that shouldn't happen. It should have its own internal buffer. But for some reason, it's breaking, and the capacity in them is not working at all and then it blames the pipe network and then if you connect a pipe network you create a massive you, you you put one supply depot or you put 50 supply depots on it it does not fix it basically it'll always say capacity uh reached i've talked to other people they've went to a c uh mineral one it worked fine they've went to other c mineral ones it didn't work so it is definitely some sort of bug unfortunately that hasn't been fixed and i hope they do fix it and this is one of the things i'm going to try to report and give them this video hopefully they can do something about it but as you can see um it's screwed up and there's nothing at all i can do so i'm going to go and take you to my base and i'll show you what a working network looks like okay so we're back at the base uh it's becoming a little bit of a night time here so these are the other five supply depots i have here and uh, if we click here of course like i said you know, the idea of being able to bring them all the way to the base, I think it's such a cool idea. Being able to open them and, you know, retrieve your materials, awesome idea. But of course, once again, like I said, it's broken. Another uh, bug right away you can see, uh, especially now it's turning night, you're probably noticing the power uh, bolts here, the lightning bolts. This basically means that it's thirsting for power, or it's unable to get power or that maybe it supplies power and it's not connected to something. This is actually a bug. Um, from my understanding, I'm going to guess that these were originally power banks of some sort. So instead of supplying, uh, like storing items in them, I feel like they might have been like super-sized batteries. I know it sounds weird, but look at the supply depot number there. It's also saying it's storing 2751 KP, which KP is the power system and uh kill power maybe or something i'm not sure what it stands for but those shouldn't exist so the lightning bolts need to go and the storing the kp needs to go basically this has two functions you you know you put the pipes together of course and then you uh put your power together which oddly enough i don't even see these pipes connected properly i think they're i mean they are connected i know that for a fact but it looks like they're vanished hmm, weird um Okay, so going to the next uh, supply depots. This one's for my gas one, and these are working great. Uh, oh, great, I have some in here, actually. So you can see it says network extraction rate. You know, it's all green, it's all happy. Overall, 250 out of 3,250. So basically, as simple as it goes, uh, the uh, extractor, the gas extractor itself, extracts 250 uh, per hour. And uh, the storage on the extractor itself is 250. That's why you get the, the 3,250. And then you have one, two, three depots here, which gives you the extra 3,000. It works, it works just flawless, honestly. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. And over here, this was just close enough to my base. So uh, this was the original one. I didn't, you know, have to do anything crazy or place random things towards it because it just, it just worked out well you know i didn't you know didn't have any issues and so this one's the gas extractor it's not the mineral extractor but this placed wonderfully it, it placed perfectly i was really happy about it so you can see the tight cycles left you can see it's nitrogen 1000 ppm and yeah it's extracting perfectly i i honestly just can't complain um it, it was literally the mineral ones that started to act up and i have another mineral one over here actually uh, so if we go over here somewhere, I think right in this spot over here, you, you get you get used to uh, where these are because of uh, you know being able to use your scanner stuff. So let's use your Q. Yeah. So we're I think it was around here. That was weird. What was that? That was weird. I don't know what's going on there. So it looks like I'm off a bit. There you go. So this is kind of how you find them. So we're analyzing. This is an awesome one. Potential S. 
So this is a density of 4,000. 400, sorry, it says. Though it says it does the 4,000, I think. Uh, PP. Actually, I don't know if I ever saw it say that word. Um, I'm assuming it's sort of like going to say that. But anyways, unfortunately, um, I don't have anything here for you to you know see and test down. But perfect example. Oh, well, how do I play something? I only have portable stuff here. So this, once again, you're going to have to go all the way to your base. And you're going to start having to place objects down, down, down every so often. All the way up to here where you can actually place it down. But this one's also broken. No matter how I place it. Um, if I decide to place a brand new base computer instead here, right? So, okay, I decide not to, you know, isn't that weird, that, that weird line effect that we're getting there? Anyways, uh, if I decide to place down a base computer and place it as a fresh base, I thought maybe it's a bug related to, there's another new bug that we've been facing. Um, if it, I place it down and let, you know, a new computer sit there, maybe it's, it's related to the distance of the base and it's a bug on its own and maybe that'll fix it. It doesn't either. So, you know, I was able to, you know, get it up and running and I tested all that and unfortunately, you know, put my new solar panels, batteries, etc. And same thing, it just showed zero slash zero. So, massive issue, of course, with uh, with the minerals. I haven't done a power one. I haven't found one. Um, I've seen a biomass one, but it says ASD, ASD, something weird container. I think that's a bug. Basically, the only way I was able to repeat that bug was I went into my video settings, uh, the actual text file. Uh, on your computer in the, uh, the the installation of the game, you have three files that you can edit. Well, in the graphics one, there is uh, one to allow you to disable base limits, which normally that's fine. That, that lets you basically build anywhere. So if I want to build on that mountain without even putting my computer up there, it would work. But the issue is apparently all these break. They turn into... Uh, the mineral ones, at least, turn into biomass, uh, some sort of generator, but they're kind of broken and glitchy. And so you can't use that either. It literally will break all of the uh, um, mineral extractors. So kind of interesting anyway. So yeah, so if the devs are looking at this, you know, these supply containers need to be fixed. Honestly, I think they should be buffed a bit, but... You know, if the if the S class uh, mineral extractors, for example, I'm assuming they do four times in the C one, then honestly, you're gonna need four supply depots just for like one single hour. So, yeah, honestly, I think that needs to be upped. I think you need to fix this lightning power stuff on it. So get rid of the lightning bolts, get rid of the KP because, like I said, the KP has nothing to do with anything. Um, your storage is just the same as normal. Um, I just it just it seems to be running weirdly off of that um, it should have no bearing to this just some kind of uh, code that's exposed and of course fix the minerals uh, one so you can actually place it and extract and then of course I would say make them all um, portable style like you know let them be built and placed the same way but let us have them portable and that way uh, we can actually do something with it and um, yeah, because it's just no fun. I want to big make a you know industrial base. I don't want to have to place a thousand plus you know items just to get to one long distance node far away. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and uh, hopefully these bugs and suggestions will get towards the devs in the future. I'll put a link to bug reports and suggestions uh, in the comments. I'll put it in the pin so you guys can participate in that. Thank you so much. Bye.